Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? Thanks for clicking on this video, okay? Okay, Leo. I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, so Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. You know, I'm hearing like somebody like calling someone, but like, um, you know, like if you're like in the woods or in the mountains or something and you like give a call <laughs> or like singing something out and this person knows what it means. So you may have like a little code with somebody or a little call or like a song that means something and you hear somebody say it or something. I feel like there is like a call that you're answering within you as well and you're going to get like some kind of confirmation that this is like right for you to do this be about this discernment okay discernment has to do with knowing what's right for you understanding this uh, voice within yourself yeah you have this gift of discernment this is heightened at this time a heightened sense of awareness you know what's right for you more than anyone else this is you know it could be time for some of you to not really trust in anyone else not follow advice from anyone else, only yourself. You have forgiveness here and you have omens. New day. Some of you, it's like something here um, is going to be okay. And there's like a sign that something is going to be okay. With that forgiveness, there's something here about um, the universe forgiving something or the universe healing someone who's sorry. It's like you don't, people don't always say for they're sorry for something and then, you know, the person that they wronged, you know, forgives them and then life goes on and it's happy and merry and beautiful. Some people... They're asking for forgiveness and they can never really have this redemption with this other person. But to the universe, that means something, you know, that this person is trying and that this person is going to have another life. And so you may hear about something working out because somebody, people are growing because of being in your presence because you're pushing them. And this is because you have forgiven yourself and you have forgiven other people. And now you have ascension here because you're ascending. And so it doesn't matter what other people have done if, for people to come to you and say, sorry, it's like you're, you're beyond that. You know, you don't need that. You're, there is a greater order to things here and you see that. And we have six, six here because this card is a six. This discernment card is the number six. And this Ascension card is uh, 24, which is 6. So this is a good fortune here. And this is something here where you're really learning how, what you're giving your energy to. And because you're being very wise with this and you're ascending here uh, very quickly. And this is where you're going to have a reward from the universe. But it's not really a reward. It's not really a test. It's just... You finally allowed yourself to elevate enough to be able to be the frequency of these blessings. To be the frequency of who you really are. Right? Ancient wisdom. Perception here. So there's something here about there's people here that want to give you some sort of advice. But you know, they're in a different world you know they're living in a different they're living like in the old world and the old earth and you're living in the new earth here 
And it's like very interesting here because this bird in the center here, okay, if you look at the bird, the bird is in the same position, you know? The bird didn't move at all physically, but what is happening around this bird changed. And so this is like, you know, you um, employing, you know, the ancient wisdom, okay? Um, where, you know, you're being in this yin energy and like the universe can come forth and bless you here. So this is very interesting because like you're changing things by changing your vibration, by changing what you're a vibrational match to. The outside is, the world around you is changing here. So this is very interesting now. Because there is an energy of people have wronged you and other people have opinions. There's people out there that have these opinions. And there's things that you used to engage in and stuff. And it's like you're a, you're above that now. You're not engaging in that anymore. And all of that energy, all of those people were just holding you back. And this is you ascending. To living this ancient wisdom. To being this embodiment of source energy. To being unconditional love to have blessings, to um, have abundance, to have wealth and health and love in all areas of your life, you know? This is, a, this is a huge thing here. You have the table, hard work ahead. And that's the thing is like some people, you know, they want you to do things in a particular way because that's the way that they know. Yeah. Okay. Someone going out of your life for the end of a situation. Yeah. There's people that you're leaving behind. And I feel like it's these people that are like, no, you need to do things. You need to do all this hard work to make things happen. And this is you like, you're not changing. You're not doing these hard, you know, you're not trying to force things to happen. You're allowing and you're getting yourself in the vibration within you. And your world is changing. And people are like not believing this. And people are getting, the better things are getting for you, the more people are getting angry. And for you, you may not see the changes yet. And so this could be very frustrating that you're like worried that it's not coming, but it is coming. But other people, they can see the changes that you're making. And they see these beautiful things. And it looks so effortless to them because it is effortless. They look like, it looks like it's just bliss and it's just joy for you. But, you know, it is. And I mean, it was a road to get to this point, to trusting in the divine, to trusting within yourself, you know? And you really have to be willing to like heal yourself and to look outside of yourself. And it's very tempting to take the bait, to say something snappy back to this person to engage in this kind of gossip, to allow yourself to be around these people so you're not alone anymore, to have this, okay, well, this is going to be really fun tonight. And then what, you know, and, but you're not doing that. You're not going to speak to your limitations. You're not like that. All of that is ending. Don't get freaked out about this casket. Okay. Tarot is not predicting anything like that tarot is meant to help people but i feel like this is talking about people that you're no longer going to be they're just not going to be in your life you know they'll just be alive somewhere else so you have mountain road you are on the road to success and you know other people don't understand that road but you know, that's, that's not for them to understand is the thing. Let me get the other half of this deck. I split it because it's impossible to. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Whoa. I'm going to get tarot too, but I feel like I need one more. Really? <laughs> Ugh, this is too many. Like August came out, but uh, 
Oh, there's more. I okay. All right, I will. I'll take something important such as a new job or a raise. This is a road that is not like um, a main road, you know, who's taking this road into this mountain. And it looks like an ancient road and you have ancient wisdom. So there is like things that you have tapped into that other people, you know, they don't understand. And the, the road is going up and this says ascension here. So, you know, it's like, you know, that this is right for you. And there are people that are believers and there are ancient people that you know, believe in these things and, you know, you could find comfort in like a certain culture and their beliefs. Okay. And there is something here where it's like, really, that's all you have to go on with this tiger card and the ancient wisdom is like, you know, you believe in this, this could be law of attraction kind of things. Um, you believing in karma or something like that. It's like, you know, you're not going to do things from this hard work, sort of making it happen in this 3D reality way. You're doing this in your vibration. You're doing this, um, allowing this. You're doing this by uh, believing in the divine and trusting the voice within you. Uh, and that's, it's a risk to do that. It's a chance to do that. Uh, but this is saying that this is leading to, you know, a huge payout for you. And other people don't really need to understand this. It's not for them. You know, it's it's for you. It's like that saying that is like, you know, if you're on a path that's already like laid out for you, then, you know, you're probably on somebody else's path, you know. Hand of cards, take a risk. They, okay, well, this one doesn't say risk. This one says risk. Wow. Being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. That's another thing, isn't that you don't really need to tell other people about this. They don't need to understand this. This is not there, you know, and that's why you have this discernment card here as well is because, you know, you're believing within yourself um, and going forward and not really, you know, moving in silence. OK, until the manifestation is here and that can be a lonely road. Sudden change, you have lightning. I don't think it's going to be a lonely road for very long. Um, but the thing is, is about this risk is this is something that you believe in. This is something that you feel it within your being that is right. This is something that you have, you know, looked into. This is something important to you. Okay. Something important such as a new job or a career here. You know, you have ancient wisdom backing you up. You have your own discernment backing you up. That's different than just like, well, I don't really care where this goes, but your intention now, your compass, your intention is to create stability in your life and to be living your life's purpose, to be the embodiment of source energy. You know, when that is your intention, you know, that you have set for yourself, this is how everything is unfolding for you, right? Surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So something could be cut in, coming in suddenly here, for sure. Shocking news. And the thing is, is, you know, when you have this Ascension card like this, you know, other people cannot believe this. You have soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. I feel like, you know, you're kind of trying to keep things quiet here, but then things have gotten out and people may think that you're a little bit out there, you know, and people may, you know, they have all these questions and they have all of these 
standards that they want you to fit into. And it's kind of like, okay, I don't know, okay, okay. And you're kind of keeping to yourself and people kind of can't believe that you're in this state of joy, but you are. Um, and people can't see like what it is that you're going to achieve. I feel like people are going to be shocked, uh, by you. It's like somebody really drastically underestimated you. I feel like a lot of people. And the thing is, is like you wanted to take all these people with you, but they're not willing to do, you know, the work. And that's their responsibility to do here. I feel like people are also going to be shocked with this soulmate card with you and this other person in a relationship and there could be people that have some things to say about that wow you have the butterfly relationship evolving into the next phase healing the inner child growth the butterfly wow and you have love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction hello you being the embodiment of unconditional love, of oneness. This is you attracting this. All of these beautiful things. Wow. And this is your own perception is doing this. Look, duality. Come on. Deciding which deck I want to use. Let's use this one. Wow. What the heck? Something here you're taking a risk on, but you're not telling other people. You're doing it because it's right within you. And this is going to lead to a beautiful union. This is going to lead to you being the embodiment of love. This is going to lead to something important such as a new job or a raise. Taking this chance is gonna lead to sudden change. Shocking news. Wow. Look at the star flew out. All this hard work. You have been working so very, very hard. There's a lot of toxicity around hard work. You had a lot of partnerships that were not healthy. And you had a lot of things where it was like, you have to work hard. This is very toxic. And this is leaving your life. Someone going out of your life or an end of a situation here. That is done. Done, done, done. That, that's not how you're supposed to be living. Fighting off all of these people here. But it's like this. there's something here about your discernment about you no longer engaging in that. So you're no longer going to respond when people are approaching you with this toxicity, just hating on you just because they want to. There are people in situations that are portraying a situation to be something else. This is a lot of gaslighting energy, narcissist energy, all this kind of stuff. I don't like to look too much into that because when you're focusing on it, you're getting more of it, right? We don't want to grow that. But there was, there was a temptation to respond to it, to defend yourself, you know? And, and that is not yielding this kind of results. It's just making more hard work more hard work you have to work hard you know you you know you have to prove yourself you have to um you know earn things and it's like no you are born worthy <laughs> no you, you you were born unconditional love you were born you know the embodiment of unconditional love you were born given this beautiful life on this beautiful planet for you to exist as joy, as bliss. This gift has been given to you. So there is a huge change here within your heart, within your soul. You know something is right. Discern discernment and the mountain road. Because the hermit walks their path alone. They go alone into the mountains to be alone with nature. You could feel an urge to be alone with nature, to go lay somewhere alone on the earth. 
but this is a path that is is in solitude but it's not going to end in solitude but you're cutting things off and you're going it alone and you're going it alone and you're loving yourself and you're trusting you're believing in yourself and because you're coming from this place of wholeness within you you're going to start to attract situations and people that are whole within themselves and so this is why you can build something that is going to last that's going to stand the test of time that is going to be beautiful that is going to be successful that is going to be love and this is what we're all here. This is what we're all searching for. The ancient wisdom is we are all love. That is it. Every person on this planet is meant to be love, is meant to have this beautiful life, is meant to transform. And everybody has this uh, option available to them, but it is their gift of life. So they get to choose whether they take it or not. This could be an Aquarius person coming in for you or a Hermit person, but the, the star card and the Hermit card together signify this dream within your heart. You know, we have the stars out there. We're all made of stardust. And, we, you know, when we're lost in this world, we look and we gaze up at the stars to gain this wisdom, the wisdom up there from what we are made of within here. And you know, you have the stars out here, but there's one particular wish that is meant for you. That's why it's like off to the side here. And the rest of the stars are like in you in unison, right? And the hermit has captured this star in the lantern. And now what are you gonna do with this? So this is making this happen by being in, a, in alignment with it within your, your very heart and soul. Look at the Knight of Pentacles here. This is how you're gonna start to attract, you're gonna start to pull the right situations to you. Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Wow. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, these opportunities are gonna keep coming to you. This is news. There's some kind of news coming for you. Look, you have the five of wands. You can get news about something that has been conf conflicting, 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 conflicting. Some kind of an illusion in your life here. There's something here that's been very uh, dark, difficult road journey for you. And other people maybe didn't know how difficult, just how difficult it is. And as you're pulling away from that, good news is coming in. But then there's also this kind of news of this drama again and are you going to engage in this drama again and are you going to continue another cycle down this path of engaging in this drama um and i feel like you're not going to do so and that's why you have the two of wands here is like you're just like not going to entertain that and going to continue and say what's next for me uh you know because there are people here that do not realize that they um may look like um how can i say this there are people that are choosing to engage in drama and they don't realize that they're doing this to themselves and drama is a light way of putting it but they're causing a lot of problems to themselves everything that happens to us everything in this world is a reflection of within us and other people they're not learning the lesson they're not taking the time out they're not wishing for more you know this movie wish on disney plus and she makes this wish for us to have more than this. This is the wish that she makes, you know, and then she gets herself after she has this epiphany. She has to be in alignment with it. And when she tells other people what happened, they all say she's crazy, right? And then she still stays in alignment with it. Okay. So this is the thing where then there's like some conflict and stuff and there's some drama and there's some difficulties and there's some loneliness, some fear that this triggers within you. And are you going to respond to it is the question. Because I feel like there's a person here who's really in a dark space and you feel somewhat responsible for this person's happiness 
for this person's well-being because they could be very closely related to you. Maybe they have helped you through things in the past. And so you feel like you owe something to this particular person. Um, there could be different situations where there's like a group of people that kept you in this phase of they keep each other in these phases of illusions you know they don't it's like everyone that this person or all of these people engage with they're not 100 percent honest with either any of them and they talk about one another behind their back and this is the kind of person that would be so hurt if their significant other was talking to other people or daydreaming about somebody else but they are daydreaming about somebody else and they are talking to other people and they are hoping you know, and wishing for other people. There, there's some people that have a wish that is not in alignment with genuine, um, just like being genuine. It's not in alignment with their own heart and soul. And this, these people have gone through difficulties in their life and they have allowed that to change them and that's not your responsibility. Like you can't, you can't save the whole world. You can't fix everything for everyone. You know, you can fix it for yourself and you can be an inspiration for other people to do the same thing for themselves, but they have to choose to do it for themselves. There's something here that you could be very conflicted about, very conflicted about other people and moving on towards your own happiness and people talking to you like this is your problem, that you abandon people by going out for your own happiness that this is not something that you should be doing. You see how conflicting this energy is? This is like the three of swords. You have the ace of swords, two of pentacles, nine of swords, the sun, and then the six of swords. This is all over the place energy. This is how this person is. They're not, they have been put in hangman mode and they're refusing to do it. They're, they're in this state, you know, and, and they want to take it out on you because they're not choosing to heal themselves and that that's not your responsibility look at this this person is headed for a tower i feel like you're going to see a lot of people things are going to come to light something is going to be forced to be dealt with because people are trying to avoid it and i feel like the universe is tired of this it's like enough is enough this is not going to go on anymore it's like a house of cards i'm seeing and the house of cards is going to fall could be people like a family and they like to play cards all the time and gossip and all this stuff and it's like no this is not going to happen anymore there's a lot of like people uh working through fears six of swords you know you moved away from something some of you maybe some of you maybe like moved away to get away from this or you're wanting to move away and spirit is going to help you find a way to move away because there's something here about you're going to go on a journey and you're going to have all new people around you. And it's like none of the people that you know now, like you're, you know, your people are, you know, you don't know any of them <laughs> or that, you know, you don't know them that well. There's, there's something here about this. There's the five of cups, but then there's the eight of pentacles. And this is the thing is like, yeah, you were really, really disappointed and you are really hurt and all you had is yourself and you decided to pour this energy into a passion into something meaningful for you into you know breaking away from this is person is like the city is over here they broke away from everything and they're just focusing over here right and this is how you're getting this um idea this is how you're getting this discernment this enlightenment this ascension this ancient wisdom and this is how you're changing everything you're taking everything that was negative that was given to you and you're turning it into blessings and this is going to start to move very quickly now and somebody else doesn't know how to do this and they want to blame you for that uh get out of here that's not your responsibility you have the ace of wands look at this so that's what's happening that's what's happening here. So don't let people guilt trip you in or tempt you because you may be feeling a little bit of loneliness because you're still on this part of the journey, right? To, you know, settling or engaging in um, 
just stuff that is not adding value to your life. It's not adding a more positive emotion. That's your compass. Oh, this is not giving me a positive emotion. <laughs> this is not giving me what I want. So I'm not going to engage in that anymore. Um, and that that's that. Yeah. This There is an opportunity that's going to lead to more for you. You're going to have more decisions to make. You're, you're going to get to make bigger decisions here. And this is important for you to like get rid of this fear. Look at this emperor. Because there's something really amazing that you're going to do. And there's a lot of decisions that you have to make. So spirit doesn't want you to be in this energy of fear because that's going to turn all of this into, um, you know, a burden. And, and then it can spin it in this downward direction. And, and you're, you're meant for it to go up in this positive direction, this ascension here. You know, this could have to do with the earth sign. You have the wheel of fortune now with the king of pentacles. You're changing things into stability for yourself. There could be a person who, you know, is in spirit that is guiding you. And this person was, you know, kind of very set in their ways, very grounded energy, but they were older, more traditional, and they want to help you so that you have choices, you have options in this life. You don't just have to, you know, defend yourself. And then, you know, somebody wants you to have more for you to be able to be secure within yourself here. And, and I feel like you're attracting you know, options for you in love, and you're going to know which one is the right one for you. It's going to be very clear to you, like who this person is. And this person may remind you of someone um, in a way, or you may get a sign from a particular person. That's how you know that this person is right for you. Um, but this person is excited to hear about your successes they're very intrigued to hear about your like new ideas and the plans that you have going forward. It's like you can't share that with anybody now. There are successful opportunities that are come to you that you're going to take. It's going to go really well. You're going to meet this person and then you're going to be this person you're going to find. You're going to know that it's right to share these more things that you want to create. And they're, they're going to be a person who's very open-minded about this. And they're going to be a person that um, pushes you, drives, you know, gives you a, um, they don't deplete your energy and they, you know, they believe in you. This is a person who's like inspired by you and they support you. You know, they see how great you are and it's genuine. You know, other people, it's like stuff that's not here yet. You try to tell them about it and it just, it doesn't go well. This person is not that way. This is someone that you can, you know, uh, stay up late and you're just having conversations about things and you connect in a very, you know, intellectual way of like, you can talk about your dreams. You can talk about anything. You don't have to have a filter with this person, but it kind of feels like for your whole life, you've pretty much had to have a filter with everybody. So, yeah. Yeah, look, you have this girl talk card, which I know it says girl talk, but, you know, it can be two girls. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. It's like, you know, living in the moment. That's the energy. Living in the moment with this person. And the way that you could talk to maybe, you know, girlfriends or the way you see in movies that girlfriends talk, this is how you can talk with this person. This is like giving me like best friend and love energy in one, you know, in, in one person here, in one connection. Okay. What the hey? Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Yeah. I mean, is there a, a reading more about that? I mean, come on. Wow. This is going to be so, so good. 
you know, you have Cancer here, you have Pisces, you have Virgo, you have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, came out too. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, this is the whole reading in a nutshell. <laughs> Which is basically, you're, you know, you're making this decision to say, you know, hey, I'm going into this new earth. I'm going into this new life for myself. Uh, I deserve more. I want to be more. I'm the embodiment of more. I believe that I can do this. And I'm going forth. And this is you following this inspiration, following this ascension, following this ancient wisdom. These opportunities are coming to you because you're going to be a vibrational match to them. You already are. Uh, the universe is going to show you. You know, it's, this is like the universe is going to prove you right. Because you're like a warrior of the universe. And you're going to be able to show in this 3D reality the proof for this. I feel like you're going to be amazed. A lot of people are going to be amazed. A lot of people are going to be amazed and a lot of people are going to be very inspired by, you know, the things that you're going to do here in this world here. Okay. Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped you. If it did and you want to like and subscribe, let me know.